Welcome to another Toy Slaves training video. Today we'll look at creating and populating the RLV folder. Remember, you can pause the video to read long notes or to review an image or menu more closely. This video was made using Maureen Kelly's standalone RLV, Restrained Love Viewer. The interface follows Lyndon Lab's standard Second Life Viewer. The RLV folder and the folders created in this viewer will work in the third-party viewers using RLVA. In other words, your folders created here can be accessed from either style viewer. Because the new viewers support multiple attachment points and clothing layers, I recommend that you strip between changes to avoid unintended results such as multiple layers of shirts and pants, etc. The RLV folder is a shared folder. By placing clothing and other items in the folder, you allow your dominant to intimately control your outfits and attachments. It will allow access to the RLV folder only. Our first step will be to add the folder and put a clothing layer outfit inside. So let's begin. First, open your inventory. Click on the plus sign at the base of the inventory pane and choose new folder from the menu that appears. Then name the new folder, number sign, RLV. Once created, it may move to match your inventory sort parameters. If it does, you'll likely find it up near the top of your inventory. There it is. To make it easier to move items to the folder, open a second inventory window. Go to the gear at the base of the inventory pane, left click and choose New Inventory Window. A new window will open. We'll use this second window to search for the outfits we want to add and then drag them to the RLV folder. For your first item, choose a folder containing clothing layers only. Here's one, the solar corset. It has a pants layer, gloves layer, sock layer, and jacket layer. Click and drag it to the RLV folder. There, you have successfully created the folder and added an outfit to it. Objects appear in your folders as items with a cube next to them. They differ from clothing layers because they require an attachment point. In most cases, RLV will automatically rename the object, adding the attachment point to the name when you wear it. In some cases, you may want to customize the attachment point. For this example, we'll use a set of cuffs. The cubes next to them illustrate that they are objects, and because they do not have the modify restriction, we will be able to rename them. Click and drag the Cuffs folder to the RLV folder. Now where are the items? You'll see that RLV has added the attachment point and shows them as worn. When you detach them, the attachment point remains. This is RLD automatically renaming the object. No modify items cannot be renamed to add an attachment point like we did with the cuffs. To deal with this issue, we will create a folder with the attachment point name in brackets and put the no modify object in it. Be sure to use the attachment points as they are named in SL. Right foot is right foot, but left lower leg is L lower leg. RLV reads the attachment point from the folder. Create a folder for each object, placing only one object in each folder. For this example, we'll choose no modify objects, a pair of shoes. Click and drag the shoes folder to the RLV folder. You'll see that the shoes are no modify.
Right click on the glass stilettos folder and choose new folder. Name the new folder left shoe bracket left foot. Now drag the left shoe object into it. It does the same with the right foot. Right click on the glass stiletto folder and choose new folder. Then name it right shoe bracket right foot. Now drag the right shoe into it. When called upon RLV will read the attachment point from these folders. The shoe shape, don't forget to wear it, is a clothing layer and doesn't need a folder. Finally, we'll deal with a complete outfit. For this example, I've chosen an outfit, White Lace and Promises. It contains clothing layers, objects, and no modify objects. Click and drag your chosen outfit folder to the RLV folder. You'll see that I've added folders for the no modify objects. In this case, a pair of shoes with straps and some jewelry. Each of the folders has the attachment point in brackets and the no modify object inside. In the case of the skirt, RLV renamed the object adding the attachment point pelvis. The clothing layers don't require a folder. If you are like me, your folder will most likely be filled with outfits, shoes included. Other folders can be set up and almost any object added to them, all accessible to your dominant, for that matter, yourself. I hope this video has been useful, and I thank you for watching. Filmed at the Toy Slaves brothel in Second Life, using The Office at the Second Life University of Toy Slaves.